Hi guys, so today I've got myself an E300 sedan, right? The E-Class. Well, this is the Elegance trim and, um, you know, I'm going to take it for a drive, tell you how it feels to drive and, you know, if you should consider getting one. I think it's actually a very nice daily driver of the E-Class. I mean, everyone is always talking about the AMGs and the, um, what they call it, the V8 e E550s and the likes, but no one really, talk, really talks about the everyday model, you know, the E300, the E350 and all that. So let's get to it. All right, it's really hot today. Like it's 35 degrees, can you imagine? Anyway, so um, I about to take the E300 for a drive now. And um, let me tell you all about it. Why I think it's actually a very nice car. It's a big step up from the C-Class, like W204, because this is in the generation of the W204, um, W212, this is W212, and the W221 S-Class, right? The, majestic looking s-class that i think um will soon become a classic in my opinion i don't know debate in that the comments shot. anyway hot as hell i have to i have to reduce the ac because of the mic anyway so straight to it this like in the um e in the e um the w212 e class um model range we have the e200 yeah, we have the E200, we have the E300, which came in, I believe, 2013, yeah. And then we also have the E350. Like, the, the thing is, the E300 wasn't available in some areas of the world, you get. Like, I'm sure in Nigeria now, this is like the, this is actually the third E300 I'm seeing, and I'm actually driving it today. Most, like, every everywhere you go, you see E350s as with, with the, you know, 2.5 liter V6. This one is the E300. It's small in all those um, kind of like, I think European countries. I'm not really sure. Look at the bottom text. Anyway, so overall, the E Class is the E Class. It's the executive Mercedes Benz. It's like, you know, the, like, it's, it's the Benz you buy if, like, you're, you want to drive daily. You want to, you know, you're the working class man, hard working, all that crap. And I don't know. It's, it's it, like I said, a huge step from the C class. You get because you have a bigger, you have bigger space, bigger space inside the front, back. And you also have like more equipment, right? So while this is the mid-range um, E class, right? But still, you have the. I mean, this, like I said, this is the mid-range C class. So it doesn't have all the options as as such. But let's say you got an E-Class with all the options, right? So let's say you got an E-Class between the years of like 2012, oh no, sorry, 2011 and 2013, yeah? You would be using, you'll be having features such as the Active Brake Assist, which is very nice. I will drop a link to one of the ads, which Mercedes did one time some years back, very cool. You also have the usual Amaham and Cardone stereo. You have the um, MB, oh, how you call it? The infotainment system, though people say it's a bit, um, what's the word, old school, a bit difficult to use. And personally, I think it's okay. I just think you, you need to take some time to like learn how to use the system. You know, it's nothing compared to the latest systems, like the one in the, you know, the C300 that I made, in the W205 C300 that I did in the last video. You get, but overall, it's actually a very, very cool, nice car for the daily driver and like someone who is like, you know, conservative of their for consumption and and whatnot yeah okay so what's the e-class like to drive yeah so like i know a lot of people do reviews they they don't really understand the cars and a lot of people also talk about like what's what the car is like to drive without even driving one yeah so for this one now um it's actually very smooth i won't lie it feels very smooth like it's not like rose voice or s-class smooth forgive me i have to reduce the ac it's not like Rolls Royce or S-Class smooth, but there's this like the gear changes are they're not crisp. Okay, we're not talking like a a um, supercar kind of um, crisp kind of way, but like on the highway or just normal street driving, it feels really balanced. It feels really controlled. You get and the ride quality is is hold on. I'm trying to bring out the word. It's A few moments later. One eternity later. It gives you feedback, right? So if you are that driver who likes to like feel the road as you're driving, the right quality, the, the, the suspension, everything, it gives you this like feedback as you drive. Like 
like I'm driving on this cobbled road and all that and you know everything is undulating and whatnot and it feels really comfortable you get like I can feel the bumps but like I can't feel the bumps like ah my back no I'm feeling like ah bump bump you know so like it's very for very forgiving but it doesn't feel numb or drowsy do you get what I mean and while the owner won't let me take it on the express because this guy is for sale and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready to get bashed by a damn full bus you know at Ojiko Aso but like the engine like from my experience driving um, E350s, E320s and and um, you know the V6 Mercedes Benz cars while they might be they might seem a little underpowered they're actually very um, peppy the engines are peppy they get like for highway cruises for that high speed dash it's like bam bam like my md says it's like it just you know like it's the feedback is there you know like if you want to feel like lewis hamilton for just like three seconds you're not there, that like guy changing trust me you're not that guy and, you know jumping all on all up and down and all that it's actually up there and um you know on on like compared to all other mercedes benz cars and likes this the, the w212 is one of the most reliable mercedes benzes I've, I've ever i've ever used or i've ever driven right i mean i've not i've not been chance to drive a 213 yet but you know from user reviews and my experience with 210s 211s 221s and all that like mercedes benz cars are reliable I'm not gonna lie they're reliable but like there's always this like they're rugged um, the, the, they're rugged. Like I know what my 21 has been through, heavy traffic jams, all that, you know. But like, I've seen several several Mercedes Benz cars on the roadside. I'm not bashing. Okay, I love Mercedes Benz, so I'm just being honest here, right? I've seen them on the roadside, and so m- most times it's usually like minor issues, and you know, deep down it's just poor maintenance. Yeah, but but I have never seen a W212 on the roadside. There was one one time, but I think the owner because the owner came down and opened the bonnet and closed it and just drove off so i'm getting eh. but like these cars are like the like a combination of everything this, uh, personally i feel like the w212 is the spiritual successor to the um to the w124 the v boots because like this car is solid everything just feels like solid like like listen to the sounds you know like everything just feels this like it has this like there's this solidness about them like all mercedes-benz cars are solid but there's this feeling you get with the two ones so like i mean just look at the seats man look at the seats like thick and, and, and all that which which is normal and all that but like it had this sort of like like this like this vault feeling about it you know and for 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 that i i really like the car i, I really like it together i really do if you're in the market for like a big mercedes not too big mercedes the s-class is the flagship that's the big boy mercedes like if you're in the market for like a big car like you're a family man or you're just like a young guy like me i'm not a family man i'm single as hell but like there are times when i just want to like chill in the back of my car get some work done you know and stuff like that i'm sure you guys do that too so if you're in the market for like a big car with big trunk space i'm not entering the boot today with big trunk space i'm not entering the boot with big trunk space and you know like um how i put it the ability to do long distance like all mercedes-benz cars are cool at long distance but if you're in the market for such a car you know drive around big back seats to carry you and your guys comfortably right because the the w204 isn't that big at the back like i'm six one and with me like this now i can sit down at the back of this w212 comfortably i'm not going to sit down the back but in like the 204 I, my, my my knees like i could sit down comfortably but my knees would be rubbing on the um what's it called would be rubbing on the um front seats right and that's not really nice on long journeys like i'm i i know you're thinking who does long journeys but get 
driving around Lagos is a long journey with the traffic jams and 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 and, and all those um you know you know what I'm talking about. So this is like a very nice car. It sits like in the middle there. Like you're not getting the AMG. I usually advise people don't get the AMGs. Even if you have the money, don't get them unless you are ready. Like these cars require understanding. They require proper care and they require proper driving. Like you, this is the car that you you trash. You know what I'm saying? Like what's the point? You know and like so this like. It's, it's 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 sweet. It has a sweet spot, you know. Like if you were, if you wanted to get the um, C three hundred, the the W two hundred five, that's the newer one, yeah. Um, not the latest one, the newer one, yeah. If you wanted to get that now, um, you would probably be budgeting around like like eleven to twelve million naira, right? I'll put the conversion in dollars there. But if you were, you know, like on a budget and you wanted something a little bit you know more affordable older and also solid then this is one hell of a car in my opinion because it does everything and the the great thing about the e-class again is that even the older models i don't know about the w210 but the 211 212 and newer ones one thing about about an e-class is that the moment you show up for a meeting in an e-class you know like there's this you know like i don't know about you guys but I judge people with their cars like i'm not saying like oh he's driving an old car oh no he doesn't have money no like i judge people with their cars like you know most people just buy cars for the sake of it that's why there are so many corollas in nigeria people just jump at the fact that oh it's a corolla it's easy to maintain blah blah blah, blah. and they're sure they're easy to maintain you get but they don't really give you that driver's feedback kind of thing right so anyway back to what i was saying like the e-class has this persona like it shows this sort of like this guy is responsible. He he kind of has his shit together. Forgive my language. He kind of has his shit together, and you know, like he 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 knows what he's doing. Like this guy is focused. That I mean, like only people in my inner circle know I'm not a normal person. But because I drive an E-Class, everyone at the workplace and all that they just like even when I have my moments of madness, they just look like mm, you know because they, like they already have this like initial um what's the word damn this is this is why i don't like the impromptu reviews but it, it, like you have this initial conception that okay like this guy is like a boss kind of person that's that's what the e-class comes with and i don't i don't usually advise people to go for the um the w204 why because like why the w204 is nice it has gotten this notoriety of being a yahoo yahoo car like i love the w204 i was so close so close to getting a c350 like two years ago so close and i was happy i didn't get it because like the way people just take it to be a yahoo boy like imagine me now i carry a backpack all the all the time i'm always on my laptop even in the car moving around going to coffee shops trying to get work done and then you see me driving a c350 in nigeria the the, 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 the first thing they assume is that oh my god this guy is a yahoo boy Yahoo boy means like internet scammer and all that for those of you who don't know. Like Nigerian prince. I'm not Nigerian prince. Maybe I'm a Nigerian prince. I'm not. So like like having that's that's that 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 stigma you get like and it, it's kind of hard to wipe away. Do you get what I mean? Though I love the C three hundred, it's a very nimble car. I love the fact that it's kind of small. So as a guy who has no children, no wife and all that, no you know nobody no extra baggage and all that it's it's perfect you get the ultimate yobo cars okay not the ultimate yobo car but kind of falls in that category in a way right so like that that that, that was what well, that, that that's the preconception of the c300 but with the e300 e350 e550 if i with the e550 and og in my opinion right? because bro, like, it's a very cool car and it's with the v8 v8 are cool right so like you know like the when you're with the e-class like that you know there's this like okay this guy is focused i don't think any like there's some guys are okay like they also use it, it, it the e-classes and all that but it can never get stigmatized because this is like if only if only showing car was going to get a daily driver that was going to drive around i am 80 percent sure it's going to get an e-class i am 80 percent sure if it's not getting an e-class maybe an s-class but for like a daily driver this is the car to get you know and one other sweet thing is as a car guy now sometimes i i tend to go for random long distance drives like i could just drive like was it 
on Easter Monday, I just took a long drive, like a 200 kilometer drive. Out of the blue, I just woke up and I was like, I want to drive. And I was just, I just went on a high speed drive. And not all cars can do high speed drives out of the blue and then take you to the office the next day. I'm, 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 I'm dead serious. Some cars, you do that, and then the next day you get warnings and whatnot, and you have to take it to the mechanic, and the mechanic is your best friend. But the E-Class, even the E, the E200 still also has that. Like, as much as the E200 might be, you know, a four-cylinder underpowered and economical and all that, it still has that peppiness, right? So it might not be super fast, but it's, you know, quick enough, right? But if you are with the C-Class, I mean, sorry, the E-Class, the E300 and the likes, then this is a car that, while it's, 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 it's a daily, it can also be like your getaway car. Not like bank robbery getaway, but like a getaway car, like just drive. And when the road opens up, like you can, you know, like it's in park. Yeah, you can just, oh, do you get what I mean? Like, uh, it, hold on, the exhaust no sounded weird. Okay, no. Just in the mouth. I thought you had an exhaust tuned. Anyway, like you can just, you know, take it out for a drive and just go, you know, like go. And when you like really want to like open the taps and all that, it just keeps on going. Like that was the thing I got with my, I, I get with my same E320 and all that. And it's really cool. It's a very nice feeling. Like it's like having a babe who is like a lawyer and she she also does your taxes she does your numbers she's super reliable she knows where all the great restaurants are she knows all the good movies on netflix she's your go-to person she's your guy and at the same time she's also a stripper and like, she can strip and do lap dances and shit not all babes can do that not all cars can be like the e-class e-class is really special all right so um I mean that's the end of it anyway. So uh, I I want to give a special shout out to White Crown Autos. It's my main guy when it comes to luxury cars, high end cars. If whenever I'm looking for like rare cars, if I'm looking for like a Polaris slingshot or like an E63 or a G65, he's my go-to guy. He's he's the best when it comes to that. You get so if you're looking for awesome cars, cool cars, accident-free cars with you know clean titles and all that, then Hit him up on Instagram or, you know, on, yeah, Instagram, you know, that's his page. Follow him, give him a follow, you know, comment and all that. And peace.